troops. ISIS forces are claiming responsibility for a series of deadly car bombings today in Baghdad. The massive coordinated attacks come as the president's top intelligence official is suggesting the administration is basically going to run out the clock on its battle with the terror group in Iraq. Correspondent Kevin Cork tells us why from the White House. The death toll from the attacks has risen steadily throughout the day as three separate car bombs tore through the capital city of Baghdad, killing more than 90 and wounding over 160 people, many of them women and children. ISIS took credit for the carnage, the latest evidence of the group's destructive capability, and arguably the strongest support yet for the sentiments of the Director of National Intelligence, James Clapper, who in an interview with the Washington Post admitted that despite its best efforts, the U.S. can't fix it. Clapper's frank assessment of the ongoing fight against ISIS in Iraq comes as a U.S.-led coalition prepares to attempt to reclaim Mosul. Clapper telling David Ignatius of the Post, we will retake Mosul, but it will take a long time and be very messy. I don't see that happening in this administration. An evaluation seemingly far less optimistic than President Obama's, who said this just last month. My expectation is, is that by the end of the year, uh, we will have created the conditions whereby Mosul will uh, eventually fall. Today, White House officials acknowledge the battle for Mosul could be lengthy. So this is going to be a big challenge, uh, but it's uh, obviously a, um, would be and will be a significant strategic accomplishment uh, once uh, that city has been retaken. Just when and how that gets accomplished remains at the very heart of the ongoing debate about the role of U.S. advisors in Iraq. To say that's going to take more than a year is not an indication that this is unwinnable, but it is a warning. This is a far more difficult battle because we're fighting a very different kind of enemy. An enemy, Brett, that continues to use terror to sow seeds of division among the Iraqis, even as women and often children pay the ultimate price. Brett? Kevin Cork, live on the North Lawn. Kevin, thank you.